every person who shall take any pirate shall be entitled to have the several rewards following for Edward Thatch, commonly called Captain Thatch. So that's an actual pirate? It's an actual pirate. Okay, so Captain Thatch or Blackbeard, 100 pounds. Okay, so Blackbeard's his like pirate name. Blackbeard's his pirate name. Letter from Alexander Spotswood to the Lords of Admiralty, July 3rd, 1716. So this is six years into his service as mm -hmm. governor. Spotswood is writing through the British board that governs the Navy. My lords, I have received information upon oath that a number of profligate These profligate fellows, fellows they're bad guys. Bad guys, okay. Yeah. Fitted out at Jamaica have committed diverse piracies and are preparing to settle at Providence and to strengthen themselves there against any power that shall attack them. So there's pirates. Yes, these are the pirates of the Caribbean. These are the pirates of the Caribbean? He's referring to the pirates of the Caribbean. No. No way. My seven times great-grandfather was worried about pirates. The pirates of the Caribbean? He's referring to the pirates of the Caribbean. So how about how many were there? Was it an actual Oh, well, there are thousands. Of pirates? Uh, of pirates. And he's writing this in 1716. Uh, has been described by historians as the golden age of piracy. That's insane. Okay, now they're showing up in America. Well, why don't you read on? Okay. And we'll see. Your lordships will be pleased to consider the dangerous consequences of suffering such a nest of rogues, and indeed, the whole trade of this continent may be endangered if timely measures not be taken to suppress this growing evil. He needs help to protect Virginia. He's quite anxious and concerned that these pirates, like a hurricane, are just going to come up the Atlantic coast. And the economy of Virginia depended on the Atlantic trade. So this represented a real threat to mm -hmm. the, the merchant trade. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did my seven-time great-grandfather get granted the protection that he was seeking? At the Virginia Historical Society in Richmond. You might be able to find out more about these pirates. Amazing. Oh my yeah, gosh, I can't amazing. wait. Yeah, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much, Warren. Well, thank you. <laughs> my seventh great-grandfather, Alexander Spotswood, was saying basically that pirates were on the way. So did he get the help? I found a few documents that'll kind of help you get some answers. So have a look at this. The London Gazette from 1717 by the king, a proclamation for suppressing of pirates. So this is a response from the King of England. Alexander Spotswood sent his letter in 1716, and then the king responded in 1717. So this is a full year later, he's getting a response. Mm -hmm. How frustrating. And this is the response. So if you come down to here, And um, we do hereby strictly charge and command all our governors and commanders to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. What's he saying there? If the pirates don't come in on their own, mm -hmm. the governor is charged with capturing them. Mm -hmm. And he can use whatever means he likes. Do you think that Alexander Spotswood was a pirate hunter? In a way, yes. And uh, he had actually a response of his own. 24th day of November, 1718. Okay, so my seven times great-grandfather wrote this a year after the King's proclamation in 1717. A proclamation publishing the rewards given for apprehending or killing pirates. And you can go ahead and He just on. went straight to killing. This is an indication that Alexander Spotswood is taking this threat very, very seriously indeed. They can be captured and killed anywhere they're found by anyone that finds and them. And no one's going to like, get in trouble for it. Absolutely not. In fact, they'll be rewarded for it. They'll be rewarded for it. Every person who shall take any pirate shall be entitled to have the several rewards following for Edward Thatch, commonly called Captain Thatch. So that's an actual pirate? It's an actual pirate. Okay, so Captain Thatch or Blackbeard, 100 pounds. Okay, so Blackbeard's his like pirate name. 
Black Prince is pirate name. So why do you think Spotswood would have singled out Thatch? I think that the easiest answer for that is that of all of the pirates this he time... He was the biggest threat. He was the biggest threat. In effect, public enemy number one. Wow. At the height of his career in 1717, the notorious pirate Blackbeard commanded 400 men and captained the largest pirate ship in the Atlantic, the Queen Anne's Revenge. Blackbeard and his men raided hundreds of ships along the Atlantic coast and at one point paralyzed the busy port of Charleston, South Carolina and terrorized its inhabitants for six days. Alexander Spotswood was determined not to let this happen in Virginia tough and stubborn and scary as hell. All I can think of is Jack Sparrow right now. That is not an accident. <laughs> Blackbeard is actually inspiration for Johnny Depp's character. What? Yeah. Really? So Spotswood is concerned about Blackbeard. So did he get him? Blackbeard was hiding out in Bath, North Carolina. I actually have a colleague there that can tell you a little bit more about that story. 